Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith in a Christmas feel, in a Christmas role. Here we are on a Christmas role. Christmas is not just an event, but Christmas is also filled with principles. If you come and tell me Mary had a child, yes, that's fine. But in what, what applicative principle is, is it for me? What can I apply from that? What are the lessons I can learn? How can I apply it to my life? The, the scripture is not just for... Um, it's not just a, a mixture or a collection of pleasant platitudes just to uh, make our ears sing for joy or any other thing, but it is also to provide us principles. So Christmas is a principle-filled event, and those are what I'm going after. And that's where I want us to concentrate. So it is more than an event, and uh, that's how you should read the Bible. You know, Peter preached a very powerful sermon in Acts chapter 2, and after he finished preaching, I mean, the people asked him a question. He says, men and brethren, what shall we do? So you have, you have preached a powerful theological sermon and all the things that have the necessities that have gone through the nodules or homiletics, uh, exegesis, Jesus, Jesus, uh, hermeneutics, and all those other things. Peter has gone through the gamut of, of theology. But guess what? The people say, men and brethren, what shall we do? He never opened windows of application for people. And that's where I come in. Whatever it is, we need windows of application. So Christmas, the windows of application, still Christmas rule. But this morning, I like to capture my thoughts with a, with a, with the caption, Christmas irritations. Now, in Matthew chapter two, verse twenty-two, there, there, there's a story over there. Now, guess what? God comes to Mary, who is betrothed. That is, she is engaged to be married to Joseph. And then God comes to town and then tells Mary that, hey, you're going to be pregnant uh, with uh, the Holy Ghost going to come upon you. And you're going to be pregnant. And Mary herself asks, how can I be pregnant when I've not known a man? I'm a virgin. I don't know anything. And, and guess what? I mean, then after the angel had told her, this one is not the work of men, it's the work of the Holy Ghost. I thought Mary was going to say, hey, I have a husband who, I, I mean, I'm, I have to go and tell him. But look at what she opened her mouth and said, be it unto me according to your word. You see how women, I mean, they, they change when they get pregnant. And then Mary goes to stand in front of, God didn't break the news to Joseph. If you've told Mary, tell Joseph. But God left the, the carriage of the news to Joseph. Now, Joseph is a man principled. He's going to get married. He's been on the touchline. He's kept himself pure. He's not touched the woman. And then all of a sudden, the woman you're going to get married comes to you to tell you that, hey, I'm pregnant. I mean, Joseph is going to go through a, a, a real tailspin. And if I were Joseph, I mean, uh, can you imagine the conversation between Joseph and Mary? Mary, hey, Joseph, hey, Joseph, I'm pregnant. Then so, you're what? So oh, I'm pregnant. Are you joking? Please, please don't. This is not the time to play. Look, we are planning for our wedding. Say, I'm Joseph, I'm serious. I'm pregnant. Then Joseph is going to you are serious? Says, yes. Then Joseph is going to ask, who? Holy Ghost. Holy wine. Holy Ghost. Holy wine. Where did you meet him? I don't know. I, I, I mean, which house did you go and do what you had to do? I don't know. I didn't go anywhere. I mean, he just spoke to you and you are pregnant. I'm sure Mary, uh, Joseph is going to ask, Mary, are you okay? But Mary was, say, was adamant and said, look, I am pregnant. This would be a very devastating blow to Joseph. And it was. But the Bible said something. If I were just, I'll be angry, I'll be upset, I'll be broken, I'll be bitter, I'll be sad, I'll be depressed. And Joseph went through all the rigmarole of emotions. He went through it. And it wasn't an easy thing. And then he sat down and then came to a final conclusion and said, listen, I'm going to put her away privately. I'm going to put her away privately. So I'm angry. I'm depressed. I'm irritated by this news that Mary said. She's broken my heart and all those other things. But you know, I'm not going to let her go with a loud noise. I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to ring a bell because I have loved her before. And I still love her. And you know, she and I, we're going to get married. And all the things that come with it. I am not going to defame her. 
I'm not going to make a public show of her. I'm not going to let her become an object of public ridicule or public shenosia. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bring her into a place where she's going to have to experience public opprobrium because of what she's, she's been through or what she has done. He said, I'm going to do it privately and secretly. I'm anointed, but I'll not disgrace her. Sometimes when people are parting ways, and when some friendships are, or relationships are, have come to a terminus, or they've come to the terminal of, of that particular relationship, see what they do. They begin to eat, where they, they throw spears, they throw arrows, and they bring, I mean, they talk so denigratingly of, of each other. And what they do is that because you want to appear righteous before everybody, because you want to appear the, the best person, what you do, you begin to say spiteful things and sometimes you begin to release, release outright lies about the other person. Joseph said, I will not put her to shame. That means even though I'm depressed, even though I'm upset, even though I'm broken, even though she's broken me up in pieces, I will not do anything that will bring her into public shame. I'm going to do it privately. So sometimes... When relationships come to an end, you never know. You know what to do. Sometimes it's better to hold your peace. And the last thing, the last bit. Did you see what the, an angel came to say to Mary, to Joseph? We'll talk about it. See you later.